This video will comprise of several parts and I will leave the timestamps in the description. That way the sections that you are already aware of uh, and you have the knowledge, you can skip ahead. But of course, I would recommend to watch all the way through just in case you might have missed some information or a new information I might add to your knowledge. The topic of today's video is I'm going to demonstrate how to export your Cakewalk by BandLab song project into BandLab.com's online song collaboration, mixing and editing platform. Before BandLab, the company acquiring Cakewalk from Gibson, they already had their own online platform for music creation, where anybody would create free accounts and be able to create songs by recording their own tracks from their computer or using loops and sound pools from the library that BandLab freely provide and then be able to export the final mix, share the song on the actual platform just like you do in SoundCloud and many other music platforms. Not only that, it also allowed you to make your song and the stems, or the multi-tracks, available for others to copy and add their own. BandLab is quite a popular platform for many musicians. A while back, BandLab added a feature in Cakewalk by BandLab, the actual software, that allowed you to seamlessly export final master mixes directly into BandLab account. So one could actually record and mix in Cakewalk by BandLab and seamlessly export the final song or the stems into BandLab account and then be able to share the final song with other BandLab members or the stems. If you have installed Cakewalk by BandLab, you already have BandLab account. Use the same username and password that you registered Cakewalk by BandLab to get your free license. You can use the same details to log in to BandLab account. To find the export to BandLab, simply look for a button called Export. If you don't see it on the toolbars at the top, you might want to check out the different settings. Some settings, like the mix layout, will actually not have the export option. Personally, I prefer the none, but again, it's up to you which one you want to use. Clicking on the export will open up the dialog. Our normal audio export to WAV, MP3 and other audio formats are here and some other formats there as well and some presets are available there but the one we want is BandLab. This dialog gives us the option to export our mix, the final mix, as a single stereo track. We can also select tracks or buses to be published onto our BandLab account. Now before we go any further, you will require your BandLab Assistant application installed and running. Otherwise, it won't work because BandLab Assistant is the pathway for the files to be uploaded from your computer, from Cakewalk by BandLab, into your BandLab cloud account. Now to the limitations of this service as of today's date of this video. The maximum length of the song cannot be any more than 6 minutes. Publishing individual tracks or buses cannot be more than 12 as well as no longer than 6 minutes. So you can publish stereo final song up to 6 minutes long, up to 12 tracks which are 6 minutes long, or up to 12 buses which are 6 minutes long. Now before you start complaining about the limitations, let me inform you that this is a free service. Exporting from Cakewalk into BandLab and sharing your song or your stems won't cost you a dime. I hope in the future BandLab would extend the track count from 12 at least to 24 or more, and same with the buses. And these days most songs are no longer than 3 or 4 minutes anyway and 6 minutes is, I believe, is plenty for a free service. So let's export our final master mix. Assuming that we've done all the mixing, automation and mastering and we just want to now publish it, 
onto BandLab. Just going to name this as master and click OK. Just a quick reminder that it does take some time for Cakewalk to, as normal, to do a mix down of the audio and then BandLab Assistant to upload in the background. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to find out or any indication the upload of our song that BandLab Assistant is doing. The only indication we get at the end of the upload, a message at the bottom, which we'll see in a minute, that the file has been uploaded into your cloud account. So if you caught that message, you can pause the video, you can read, it says that the export is ready and BandLab Assistant will inform you once the upload is complete as well. If you keep the name of the song the same as the first one, subsequent exports will basically create revisions of the same project in BandLab account. And as you saw, we just got a notification from BandLab Assistant that our project file has been uploaded into our BandLab account. And visiting our BandLab account under Library and Project, you will see that Dare You To Move Master is now available. It's set as private. You can set the privacy settings once you are happy to publish it to the rest of the world. So that's how we export our final mix into BandLab. Now, before you jump ahead and start exporting your tracks or your buses at, to BandLab, tracks or buses, remember there are limitations of having only 12 tracks or 12 buses. You need to be able to select which ones. So there is a couple steps that you need to do before you click the OK button. So how do we select which tracks or buses to upload? First thing you need to do, step number one, and don't forget this because this will be the critical stage, otherwise it won't work, is to select selection option instead of project. This is very important. Otherwise, anything you select, any information you follow after this and you select, it will not work. So now that we've got selection option enabled, we can now select any track we like to upload to BandLab. Let's say I want to upload my drum tracks. I can click and I can even drag it and select all the seven tracks and now they're all selected. Now I can actually go into export, band lab, tracks, and I'm just going to call this drums for indication. And we click OK. Again, Cakewalk will go to the mix down of the audio and then BandLab Assistant will upload individual tracks. All seven tracks will be uploaded into a new project called Dare You To Move dash drums. And now back on BandLab's project, I can see Dare You To Move dash drums. These are the drum tracks. We open in the mixed editor. Here we should be able to see and listen to all of the seven tracks that we just uploaded. And there we are. All seven tracks are right here. I believe the drums start a little bit later. I'm just going to move forward. Let's have a quick listen. Yep, and there it is. Now one thing I noticed as I was recording this video, is that my original upload, Dare You To Move dash Master, had somehow disappeared and got replaced with drums. So I will investigate and let you know in the future if you're only allowed to have one song or only one version of a song, whether if it's a master mix or tracks or buses. If you have experience differently, please leave a comment below and let me know what your experience was, whether you were able to upload more than one song or whether you were able to upload different versions of the same song as master, tracks or buses. And finally, uploading the bus stems 
can open up our buses. And all the buses that we have here will be uploaded. If there's more than 12, obviously you need to select. I have found that instead of selection, because you need to select project here, unlike tracks where they contain audio files, buses don't have audio files. So I discovered that you need to select project rather than selection. But I may be wrong depending on this project. I have 12 buses, including the master bus. So no selection needed. Going straight to project and export band lab buses. Here, I would probably even call it stems because my personal preference stems means the buses which includes all automations and everything else so that anybody loading the stems will be able to the final mix down if need be. And once you're happy with it, you click OK and it will go through it. Extra knowledge. If you open up your documents, BandLab, uploads, and this is today's one, you can actually see these are all the files and they are WAV files that that BandLab assistant will detect and upload into your account. And here we can see the you to move stems that I've just uploaded. Open up the mixing editor. Now we have all the buses right here, including the master bus. And because it detected as the master bus, it already, already soloed it out for us, so you can have a listen to it. But I guess you can mute it. And if this was my own original song, I'll be able to share this and other people can remix it. Here, you can publish your original song and you can share it as well and re-download it if need be. Or you can also let other people fork your creation and be able to add their own and do a remix as well in BandLab. Well, I hope this video was useful for you. If it was, make sure you give me the thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great time making music. Till next time, cheerio guys.